Do you think you move too slow in your game? Do you want your players to be able to run? Then you need a sprinting system for your game. Lucky for you, I'll be walking you through every step to make a sprinting system complete with stamina for your game. We will start with the sprinting system by opening your character blueprint, which for me is the third person character that comes with the engine, but you can use your own if you have one. Next, we will need to go to edit, then project settings, then input and under action mappings press the plus icon and name it sprint then open the drop down next in the drop down for the button just select any sprint key you want i will use left shift as it is a standard sprint button in most games next you can just close the settings window and in the event graph for your player controller, you can right click and add the input action sprint event. Next, we'll create a new function for sprinting so it makes the stamina system easier. Call the function start sprinting. Then get a reference to character movement and drag out a set max walk speed node set to 800 as a good speed. Then make a bool called is sprint to hold if we are currently sprinting and set it to true after changing the walk speed. Next, copy all of the code and make a new function called stop sprinting and paste it in there. Then you can uncheck the bool and set the max walk speed to something like 400. Then we need to go in the details panel of the character movement component and search for and set the walk speed to the same value. Now we can go back to the event graph and off of the press we can drag out start sprinting and off of the release we can drag out stop sprinting. Then we can save and compile. Now work on a stamina system by making a new custom event called drain stamina then we'll make a variable for it called stamina set to an integer next get the stamina variable and drag out a subtract node set to one then follow that with a clamp node with zero as the maximum and the max set to a variable called max stamina which we will set to 100 after compiling then drag out a set node for our stamina and set it using the value from the clamp node next drag out an equals node set to zero and a branch node using the output if it is true drag out a stop sprinting node and if it is false drag out another branch using the is sprinting bool next from the true drag out a delay node set to 0.1 then call the event again then set the base stamina to 100 then for regenerating stamina we will just copy the code we made and add a custom event called regen stamina. We need to replace a few things, starting with changing the minus one to a plus five or whatever you want. Then where we have the equals node, we want to change the value to be our max stamina variable. If it is true, we don't want to do anything, and from the second branch, if it is false, we want to call the event again after the delay. Next, in our start sprinting function from earlier, we can call the drain stamina event, and in the stop sprinting function, we can call the regen stamina event. Then, we can save and compile. Now we need to make the UI for our stamina so 
the player can see it. Start by going back to the content browser, then right click and under user interface, select widget blueprint, then in the pop-up box, select user widget and name it BP underscore stamina UI. Next, add a canvas panel and add a progress bar like so then we can move it to the bottom right and move the anchor over it as well so it does not move and scale it up however you want now in the details panel we want to set the percent to a bind that will open up in the blueprint graph next go over to the event graph and from event construct we want to cast to our character using a get player character node as the object. Then from the as pin, promote it to a variable called player ref. Then save. Then back in the binding graph, you want to drag out the reference. And from it, you want to get the stamina and the max stamina variables. Next you want to use a to float node to get both values to be a float. Next you want to get a divide node with stamina being divided by max stamina. Then you can use that as the return value. Then you can compile and save that and back in the player actor we need to add some code to make the UI show. Out of event begin play, which may already have stuff at it, at the end we want to add a create widget node set to our widget, followed by an add to viewport node. Then you can save and compile and go back to your main map to test it out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more weekly Unreal tutorials. If you want to buy me a coffee and get early access to your videos and your name at the end, I have a Patreon in the description you can look at. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them below or in my Discord server. I will be happy to help. The video appearing now is something YouTube knows you'll love to watch, so why not watch it? Have a great day and bye for now.